Matthew writes, John the Baptist appeared preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one, crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locust and wild honey. At the time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance. And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan in his hand, he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. My name is Olivia. I'm a Marist young adult and I am a St. Mary's High School alum. So this week's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew and um, I'm really not going to flex. <laughs> the first time I read it, I did not know what in the world it was talking about. I tried to read it over and over again and I was not getting anything important until I read it the third time and I saw that um, John the Baptist was trying to protect was trying to prepare people for um, the coming of someone important. Jesus. <laughs> and um, so he was baptizing these people in the River Jordan, told them to repent for the kingdom of heaven was to come. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees came to try to figure out what was going on and basically try to show their dominance by saying like you know we are the children of Abraham and John said he said to them that um God himself can make children of Abraham like he's like all high he's very mighty the person who's coming is mightier than John the Baptist so they should be scared <laughs> but I guess um one of the most important things of this whole thing is that, just like John the Baptist said, someone is coming and we must prepare for his coming. So I guess the challenge that I'm going to give to you guys this week is to prepare yourself for the coming of the big guy, <laughs> the coming of the most important guy, which is Jesus. So um, in preparation for um, the holidays or for Christmas, you should um, prepare yourself, you know, look inside yourself and kind of reflect on um, what you got going on and try to remove all the impurities in your life. You know, try to lower your stress at school or um, try to, you know, all the negative things that's been going on, you know, give it up to God and um, try to, you know, have an open heart and a uh, a heart that's ready to accept the coming of 